Hi, welcome to She Spice. Eddie Murphy is a man that seldom pulls punches, and he has presently gotten serious about reality behind Will Smith's ascent to distinction, and I followed it my entire profession. It's actually basic. There's three things. You simply do these three things, pay your charges, mind your business. The thoughts of the book of scriptures are 98% similar thoughts of Scientology and 98% similar thoughts of Hinduism, and Murphy shared his conclusive plan for progress, saying it's extremely straightforward. There are three things. Pay your expenses, mind your business, and keep Will Smith's better half's name out of your mouth. It was an apparently honest jib that was really attempting to disclose something a lot hazier about the entertainer Will Smith. He has developed a truly adorable character. However, yet many have theorized that it's every one of the exterior he has a very dim past, and an unimaginably dubious ascend to acclaim a portion of the things he's done, and the gatherings he's been partnered with had never been raised until Eddie's. Murphy chose to strip back the layers of Will's painstakingly created persona, while neither Will Smith nor Jada Pinkett Smith have at any point affirmed their strict alliance. The Smith family has for quite some time been supposed to be related to the questionable and hazardous Church of Scientology, in a May 2011 meeting with men's folk Smith examined his investigation of different religions, saying I've considered Buddhism and Hinduism, and I've, 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 I've contemplated Scientology through Tom Cruise, and no one's platitude is anything different. He confronted an extensive reaction for asserting that 98% of the standards are indistinguishable from the standards of the good book, and I've conversed with Tom Cruise. He is one of the most noteworthy spirits that I've at any point met somebody who is focused on making the world better, assuming that individuals realize what they attempt to do. They attempt to stifle you. They have Scientologists picking in front of individuals' homes going, don't trust your neighbor suggesting that he's a sexual degenerate. They follow your occupations. This would positively make sense of a great deal those related to Scientology have frequently ended up climbing the stairs quote, icker than others. Leah Remini has delivered a journal previously agitator enduring Hollywood and Scientology, and it brought a great deal of thoughtfulness regarding the Congregation of Scientology. What's more, its renowned adherence in a meeting with a BC's 2020 Remini uncovered a large number of privileged insights that Scientologists are educated to keep hidden. Having developed up in science, Remini utilized the interview to talk about the different disciplines forced on her and others. She left the congregation around quite a while back to keep her little girl from being taught into the confidence the Congregation of Scientology answered her charges. M. Remy needs to continue on with life and stop fanatically faulting others for her issues, be it her previous religion or those she has worked with after your family. In addition, did you know Tom Cruise when you were there? Tom is a completely committed and steadfast Scientologist. I went through a day with Tom Cruise about Scientology. I went to the hostile psychiatry center, and what do you consider that I thought he was too? Why does Scientology draw in some of Holwood's driving entertainers? As indicated by Jenna Slope, the niece of Scientology pioneer David Miscavige, and other people who have left the congregation. Scientology effectively focuses on certain stars they accept will be powerless to their lessons. The convention is intended to engage entertainers and entertainers, persuading them that participation will improve both their lives and professions. The congregation frequently features high-profile individuals like Tom Cruise and John Travolta as evidence of its adequacy, recommending that certain individual characteristics make people more powerless against enlistment. Tom Cruise's foundation epitomizes this. His folks separated when he was 11, and at 14, he joined a Franciscan theological school, at first seeking to turn into a minister. Cruz battled with dyslexia, making school troublesome in 1987. He married entertainer Mimi Rogers, who acquainted him with science. Cruz credited the congregation with relieving his dyslexia and before long became quite possibly of its most noticeable part. Leah Remy has spoken about the unique treatment Cruz got from the congregation. John Travolta additionally credits Scientology for his prosperity. He was a youthful, trying entertainer, when he was welcomed to a Scientology meeting the most youthful of six kids. Travolta had exited secondary school during his lesser year. He told the Scientology Bunch about an impending tryout for a network show, as per Lawrence Wright in his book. Going clear, the gathering was told to stance toward the studio and serenade we needed. 
John Travolta, for the part at the following gathering, declared he had been projected in the job of Vinnie Barbarino, the part that would make him popular. My profession quickly took off, and Travolta flaunted in a congregational distribution. Scientology put me in the big deal with my assessment that it's fake since all that in Scientology is a commitment of when you get to these upper levels. When you get to these upper levels, you will deal with this by yourself. You will deal with that. I need to have a response with my tear pipes. In a real sense, numerous entertainers, including Will, what's more, Jada Smith, Kirsty Partner, Priscilla Presley Patrick, influences and Russian artist Mel Baryshnikov, have spent critical time and cash supporting the Congregation of Scientology. Leah Raman's book has raised worries among numerous in Hollywood who really like to keep their relationship with the congregation and its lessons private. That's what, furthermore, a few reports recommend these big names keep up with their ties with Scientology out of dread that its pioneers could reveal individual data about them to the media. Will Smith has spent almost 40 years cautiously making a harmless persona to guarantee his vertical versatility in a 2021 meeting with the New York Times Magazine. Smith clarified I'm going after to make a happy persona, and this is on the grounds that quite some time ago, I understood how you enter a space will decide how the space responds to you. I need to stroll into a room and get however many companions as rapidly as could be expected. Smith, a conclusive VIP of the past 50 years, has succeeded at keeping up with his popularity throughout the long term. This ability permits him to disappear and reappear at ideal minutes, for instance, during the Coachella installation. Vanessa Hudgen, a co-star in Terrible Young Men Forever, and Awful Young Men, Ride or Pass On, were missing from this year's celebration. Smith made a shock appearance during Jay Balvin's set, playing out the men in Dark Topic in full specialist Jay outfit, reappearing as a cherished character from a fruitful establishment, is a smart move with Terrible Young Men riding or passing on. Smith is too repeating his job as Mike Lowry, his advancement character from one more hit establishment as of late. Smith and Martin Lawrence showed up in character close by Miami Intensity star, Jimmy Stewart in cross special promotions for awful young men writing or passing on. What's more, the NBA finals. Smith likewise performed Miami on top of a multi-level bus at the awful young men ride or pass on Los Angeles debut and plunked down with Sean on Hot Ones as a feature of his press responsibilities. Though it's like life is so difficult, everyone needs someone that resembles. It's whatever man this key moving was more than likely in every case part of the arrangement. Also, many are currently estimating that this is generally how might we plan to get back into the spotlight currently? How about we follow Will's intriguing vocation direction with regards to Dan Shuris's broad music industry, to the enormous compensation, the historical backdrop of the business of hip bounce, Leaders recognize DJ Lively Jeff in the new Sovereign Time, Will Smith as a potential famous actor in 1988 music leader, and future filmmaker Ann Carley told an incredulous Russell Simmons Smith supervisor at the time, I think Will Smith can be pretty much as large as Eddie Murphy. Two years later, John Landis, who coordinated Murphy in exchanging places in 1983 and coming to America in 1988, repeated this opinion to Disney legal advisor Ken Hers saying he's going to be the following Eddie Murphy, while Freedom Day 1900. 96 sent off Smith into super fame. It was awful young men, 1995, that originally settled him as an authentic, famous actor. Terrible young men stamped Smith's greatest film job up to that point and permitted him to break free from the requirements of organization television, where he played a fictionalized form of himself on the new Sovereign of Bel Air, as Mike Laurie Smith brought an edge that matched Eddie Murphy's axle. Foley from the Beverly Slope Cop establishment in the 1990s. Will Smith took on his most memorable film job in Six Levels of Partition, where he played a gay cheat who hustles a well-off couple in New York's high society, while pundits adulated Smith's execution. His conduct on set wasn't too good for his co-stars, Reports surfaced that Smith wouldn't kiss his co-star Anthony Michael Lobby on camera, a choice he later lamented in December 1993. Smith told Diversion week by week it was extremely youthful on my part. He uncovered that he stayed away from the kissing scene later. Counseling Hollywood legend Denzel Washington, who obtusely exhorted him, don't be kissing no man. Smith was concerned about how his companions in Philadelphia would respond to the scene, 
saying, I was thinking, how are my companions in Philadelphia going to contemplate this considering his choice? Smith conceded I wasn't sincerely steady enough to masterfully focus on that part of the film. This was an important illustration for me. Possibly you make it happen, or you don't. Co-star Ian McKellen likewise said something regarding the issue during a meeting with Break London. McKellen said he was a charmer, or what's more, a decent entertainer. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.